Second trimester of pregnancy, more energy, bigger appetite, feeling baby kick and more, here's what happening during the second trimester. You made it through the first trimester. For most women, this means you should see an end to the extreme fatigue and morning sickness that made those first weeks tough. During this next trimester, you'll probably feel more energetic. Take advantage of this by getting in some pregnancy safe exercise, curating your registry and starting to prep your home for baby, aka nesting. Depending on your body type, you're likely to see a baby bump appear soon, so now's the time to build out your maternity clothing wardrobe. Your baby will also be very busy developing, putting on the pounds and starting to move around in there. How long is the second trimester? The second trimester of pregnancy lasts from week 13 through the end of week 27 or three months pregnant to about six and a half months pregnant. Baby's development in the second trimester. Baby's development is kicking it into high gear now. A lot happens during the second trimester. Baby starts the second trimester around 2.9 inches and 0.81 ounces. And by week 27, they're about 14.4 inches and 1.9 pounds. Go, baby, go! They'll begin to be measured in something called fundal height, which is basically the size of your bump or the distance from your pubic bone to the top of your belly. This measurement is used as a way to make sure baby is growing. What else is going on in there? By 16 weeks, their umbilical cord is fully developed. By 18 weeks, baby can hear lots of noises happening inside your body, your heartbeat being the loudest. But they probably won't hear most noises outside your body until the start of the third trimester. Baby is growing a soft coating of vernix caseosa or cheesy varnish that prevents their skin from getting wrinkly in the amniotic fluid and protects against drying, temperature changes and bacteria in the first week after birth. The vernix sticks to baby's skin with the help of lanuga, the soft, fine hair that also protects and warms their skin. Baby is drinking amniotic fluid to practice for breast milk or formula once outside the womb, which means they're also peeing and developing meconium, baby's first poops. Most babies pass meconium within 48 hours after birth. Through some do it in utero and develop meconium aspiration syndrome. Their poops look gross and are sticky, but they don't smell and are usually gone with the first day or two, replaced by other gross poops that come with breastfeeding or formula feeding. If you want to find out your baby's sex and you haven't found out already via IVF sex selection or non-invasive prenatal testing, you'll be able to at your 20-week ultrasound with about 80-90% accuracy, assuming baby cooperates. Second trimester pregnancy symptoms Heartburn during pregnancy The good news is that nausea of your first trimester has probably passed. The bad news? More than half of pregnant women experience heartburn sometime between the second and third trimesters. You may get a brief break from heartburn for a few weeks in the second trimester as your body's production of relaxin settles down, but don't be surprised if it comes back toward the end of this trimester as baby gets bigger. This is due to the physical changes that are going on as the uterus enlarges and the other organs within the abdomen begin to shift upward, creating pressure. If you are suffering, here are some ways to relieve the discomfort. Watch what you eat. Avoid foods high in citric acid, oranges, lemons, limes. 
as well as fried foods and spicy foods. Watch when you eat. Eat in smaller meals four to six times a day instead of three big meals can help keep pressure from building up in your esophagus. You are already limited on space with a growing baby. Don't limit it more with large meals. Additionally, wait at least 30 minutes after eating before laying down. Drink low-fat milk. Milk is naturally alkaline, meaning it can help decrease the acidity of excess acid and soothe the symptoms of heartburn. And go for low-fat or skim milk, as milk with higher fat content can actually make heartburn worse. Talk to your doctor. If your heartburn is severe or doesn't seem to be improving with lifestyle changes, there are prescription meds that could help. Avoid taking an over-the-counter antacid, though, without talking to your healthcare provider first. Leg cramps during pregnancy You may start experiencing leg cramps during your second trimester, particularly when you are sleeping thanks to pregnancy weight gain, swelling and changes to your circulation that make it hard for your blood to get from your legs to your heart. While they are super annoying and can disrupt your sleep, leg cramps aren't serious. Drink water, stretch throughout the day, massage sore muscles and exercise regularly to help prevent them. Compression socks or stockings can also help get your blood flowing, particularly if you are flying. Stretch marks and other pregnancy skin changes. Your skin goes through lots of changes during your pregnancy. As your belly expands during your second trimester, you might notice stretch marks developing on your stomach. They also sometimes show up on your butt, thighs, under arms and breasts. They start out pronounced, ranging from dark brown to pink depending on your skin color. They will eventually fade, though they'll never completely go away. Not everyone gets stretch marks, and you can't really do anything to prevent them from happening. You'll see a lot of stretch mark creams on the market but they haven't been proven to do anything to reduce them or stop them in the first place. The best foods to have while pregnant are foods high in protein, meat, eggs, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, peanuts and peanut butter, pumpkin seeds, healthy fats, avocados, cheese, dark chocolate, eggs, salmon, nuts, olive oil, full-fat dairy, though, as we mentioned before, avoid high-fat foods if you have frequent heartburn. There are also some foods you should avoid during your pregnancy, including fish containing high levels of mercury, like tuna, shark and other big fish, food with a risk of containing the bacteria Listeria, like raw, soft cheeses, deli meats and hot dogs. Alcohol While you may hear some people say that a single glass of wine in late pregnancy isn't likely to cause any harm, keep in mind that there is no evidence to support that any amount of alcohol is safe at any point in pregnancy. So the safest option is to avoid alcohol entirely. Sleep during your second trimester The exhaustion of your first trimester should be gone, but as you move toward the later part of your second trimester, you'll find yourself faced with new sleep challenges. As your belly grows and your body changes, you may find it harder to get comfortable at night. Pregnancy pillows will be your friend. Consider shopping for one now. If you're a back or stomach sleeper, this is a good time to start sleeping on your side, particularly your left, as it's the best position for blood flow to the uterus. Of course, you can't stay in one position all night, so if you wake up on your back, 
Don't freak out, just roll over and try to go back to sleep. Sex during pregnancy. If you are comfortable having sex, don't worry about hurting the baby. They are nice and cushioned in all the amniotic fluid and experiment with positions that are comfortable for your changing body. Also, as long as your doctor says it's okay and don't have certain pregnancy complications, you can keep doing it until you go into labor. Weight gain in the second trimester. Most women have gained about 8 to 10 pounds week 20 and will start gaining about 1 pound per week going forward. By the end of the second trimester, most will have gained 12-17 pounds, though you may gain less if you had a high BMI pre-pregnancy or you may gain more if you had a low BMI pre-pregnancy. About one quarter of your weight gain is coming from extra fluids. Here's what makes up the rest. So swelling during pregnancy is completely normal, especially in your ankles and feet. If it gets uncomfortable, try staying off your feet, drinking lots of water and reducing your caffeine and sodium intake to manage it. If you have sudden, extreme swelling in your hands and feet, contact your doctor. It may be a sign of preeclampsia. What is preeclampsia? Some pregnancy complications can be scary. Preeclampsia is one of them, a condition that involves high blood pressure and damage to the kidneys or liver. It affects between 2 and 5 percent of pregnancies. It usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy.